Digital and today we're going to be looking at the HP TouchSmart and this is the new TouchSmart PC from HP uh, the one that I saw in Burley at the HP event so this is like the version 2 of it so we're going to unbox it, we're going to power it up and have a look at the touch interface so the first thing we're going to do is let's unbox it and have a look what's inside here we've got a setup poster it just shows us how to unpack the unit stand and to turn it on so have a look at that in a moment got on here this is the keyboard and the mouse and it's a nice big keyboard It's nice and light and very slim. If you see the, the dimensions on that, it's got a, a mouse, looks like a two button mouse with a scroll wheel on there. We'll have a look at these in more detail in a moment. And here we have a power supply, which is an external power supply. power cables and we have a remote control which is a mini sensor remote control. Here we have the actual unit itself. I'll give you an idea, you'll see now this is the whole PC. So what I'm going to do is move some of these boxes out of the way and get that set up. Okay, so I've unpacked the unit now and I've taken all this plastic off. I've not done all of it yet. There's some on it. It's still on here. Um, the, the mouse and the keyboard have got these batteries already in with the tags on. So you just pull that out and that enables the contacts. So that's quite a nice touch. So let me look at some of the components first before we look at the device. So this is the mouse and uh, it looks a bit different from now I've got the packaging off. Let me just show you. It's a nice glossy uh, finish on it. It's a laser mouse. So that's uh, quite a nice mouse. And the keyboard which I showed you before is uh, a nice solid feeling uh, keyboard. It's wireless. And then the remote, which looks very similar to the Media Smart remote. So um, we've got the Media Centre buttons on there. We've got all the usual stuff. Uh, internet printer uh, icon on there. So we'll see what that does in a moment. Plus, in the box, you also get um, cables that's for plugging it into Hi Fi. And uh, this little cable here. Um, it looks like an IR blaster, so we'll have a look what that does, and a cleaning cloth as well, which I guess we're going to need because it's a touch device. So what I'm going to do now is um, perhaps give you um, a brief tour of the outside, and we'll have a look at uh, some of the some of the slots and everything that are on it. For this, so here you can see me, and you can see the glossy finish on the on the unit. If I come round to the side here, we've got a slot for the DVD which is a writer and down here we've got um, some hardware buttons volume up and down mute and we've got a memory card slot and um, a firewire port so up here we've got a webcam and let's go down the other side so on this side we've got two USB, we've got headphones, an audio output and a light option. See how the stand works, uh, very simple, just pull it out. We've got power going to the back here and there's a flap here, which we'll take that off. There you can see we've got, uh, you can see there's in, the, in this view, there we go. We can see we've got USB, we've got uh, a LAN port, digital output, a TV input, 
S video and audio input. So we can hook this up to my reel and use this as a media center. So we'll give that a try shortly. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to power the unit on and let's have a look at uh, what it looks like for the first uh, boot up. And then what we want to show you is the HP TouchMart software. Fire up here. I can just about hear some initial fan noise and that's going quiet. I can hear the hard disk going. So this is going to do the initial setup now. Okay, so let's walk through the setup. Let's grab the keyboard. See the mouse is working okay. Probably going to need a mouse mat on this table. In the United Kingdom, yeah. Looks like this is pre-installed with Service Pack 1. Okay, so let's. I'm just going through the initial window setup. Now, what probably doesn't come across too well in the video is how nice this screen is. It's very clear, very bright, and uh, the more I'm sat at quite a, an angle to it, or on this side, and I can clearly see it. So. It's a very nice display, um, very clear, and uh, it's good viewing angles as well. Okay, so let's have a look at logging in now. Now, there's two ways I can do it. I can use a touch, which is quite a nice way of logging in, so I don't have to uh, use the keyboard. Let's see if I've got it here. doing the setup and registration but the sound on this is really nice but this setup looks very much like uh, so on the on the dragon so I'm not actually going to do that now so we're going to come back to that later so this is the setup I'm going to uh, just have a quick look at that Okay, this is the registration, so I'm going to do that later. So, not an internet security. Okay, this is probably the, the bone of contention is uh, I don't like uh, the pre-installed security packages. I prefer to put something on like AVG. So I'm actually going to not put that on. 